So here I am at the Rhyolite Bullfrog Cemetery in Nevada, deep in the, uh, the nothingness of Nevada. It's in between Las Vegas and, um, let's see, Tonopah probably would be the best landmark. I've heard about this cemetery a bunch, uh, living in Reno and living in Nevada. And this is the first time I've ever been here. Now, the thing about this cemetery, it's in a ghost town. Uh, ghost town meaning an old mining town that just is not in operation anymore. There's only a few structures still standing. One of the sites in Rhyolite that is still, that can be identified is the cemetery. Now, in the cemetery, uh, it, it has not been kept up really at all. For instance, this this grave, which obviously had some sort of wooden fencing around it and maybe a stone at some point is completely a giant pile of wood now and that is because whatever uh, agency was in charge of taking care of this cemetery probably just no longer exists anymore uh, when rhyolite uh, turned into a ghost town so did the cemetery there aren't very many markers left here at the rhyolite bullfrog cemetery but it is a, a large footprint of land. And as you're walking around, uh, checking out what few markers are still uh, available, you will start seeing mounds, burial mounds. So there's quite a few people buried here. They just don't have markers anymore. More than likely, it's because those markers were made out of wood. And in the harsh environment of the Nevada desert, they're just not going to last very long at all. In fact, some of the stone, or not stone, some of the markers that I've showed you in the B-roll are wood. And you know, at some point, it probably set a name and a date and, and some information. But at this point, the weather, the environment has just wiped that identity away. I don't ever recommend going into a cemetery at night, mostly because it's generally against the rules. Most cemeteries are free and open to the public from sunup to sundown, but 
especially in places like this where there's no city, there's no lighting uh, in this location. And even though there's no one to really scare you away if need be, uh, there's no way to see out here, even with a flashlight, there's a good chance you could trip over something. As I've showed you, there's burial mounds that are very easy to trip over and walk over, and that's just being disrespectful. But also, stones that are markers like this, the wooden ones that are dark in color, at night are virtually invisible. And that piece of wood that is marking that person's burial spot, if you walked into it, that thing would fold. It would, it would just come right out of the ground, it would break, and that would be terrible. I do want to point out one of the stone markers that is here. I want to point it out because I noticed another stone marker that it seemed to be missing something, and I think I figured it out. Uh, this stone marker obviously has a base and then a round cylinder uh, identifier on the top. The, so it's a two-part monument stone. There's another one over here, right here, that as you can see, same type of base, and an area where that cylinder would be, that rounded stone would be sitting, but it's gone. So I don't know what happened to it. Uh, obviously it's the part of the stone that's the identifier because there's nothing written on that base, but at some point that portion of that stone went missing. Uh, it's a large piece of stone. I doubt it just fell apart because there's nothing to, there's no remains of it anywhere. So it's my guess that somebody took it. One of the few main stones that is still visible and readable here at Rhyolite Cemetery and it is a pillar type stone with a book on it draped in a cloth as you can see one of my favorite types of stones this one in the book it says at rest and this particular grave is of Daniel Kennedy who died at Bullfrog Nevada back in 1906 and he was from Nova Scotia um, I don't know I'm assuming what brought him here was promise of a, a new life of of the mining and the the riches that can be pulled from the ground and this is where he remains <music> That's it for me here at the Rhyolite Cemetery. I've got to get back on the road. I'm glad I managed to finally pop in here and check this place out. If you stop by, just remember to be respectful. Watch where you step. Until next time, I'll see you then.